Greetings, knights and knaves, lords and ladies, tis I, your Lord Commander, and welcome to our very first official Crusader Kings 3 A Game of Thrones uh, video upload. Now we did have a live stream where I was uh, I was playing and testing things out. We were playing as a uh, an Ironborn Lord uh, out here just reaving and raiding against the uh, the western coastlines of uh, of Westeros. But the uh, the YouTube community has spoken, and today for our first official video upload, we will be playing as a Stark, a Northern Lord of the uh, the realms of the North, north of the uh, the Neck, and uh, and the Riverlands. And we will be playing during uh, Robert's Rebellion as well. So we will most likely be called to war by our liege, uh, Lord Eddard Stark of Winterfell. But now it is time to introduce our custom character. Allow me to introduce you to Lord Erid of the Godlands. He is Lord Erid of House Marshall, and their motto is the Shields of the West. So, um, you know me, I had, I absolutely had to make a, uh, a custom house and a custom, uh, ruler for our first official playthrough. So the original lands that we turned into, the Godlands, were, uh, were known as Flint's Finger under the Lord Roderick of some house. Uh, their motto, however, was the exact same, Shields of the West, and I decided to keep it as House Marshal. And the idea is that we were gonna roleplay it to where... Uh, Lord Arid Marshal of the Godlands. Uh, his main adversary are the Ironborn Raiders of the Iron Islands. Uh, as they constantly try and uh, barrage the lands, like this little uh, coastline area, uh, and especially trying to move their way north, the uh, the Marshals of the Godlands will be able to uh, to stop them and intercept their fleets uh, en route to their targets. And uh, stop them before they can begin their raiding parties against our liege lord and our va fellow vassals. So without further ado, lads, let us begin our first official campaign. Ah, beautiful. A dynasty is born. Greetings, my lord. The Citadel sent me once they received word of your rise to lordship. No, I am not your maester. I am here to make a record of your new station and the birth of your new house. That is, if you will allow me to make such a record for the Citadel. Uh, certainly. What do you wish to know? This will not take long. It is for a summary of your house birth, not an in-depth history or ambitions. Shall we start with how you obtained your lordship and your past life? Of course, of course, dear maester. Um, more options. So, spoiler alert, I have played this several times before. Not this particular build. Uh, but we have played this, you know, started a new thing. So I kind of know, like, what to do, where to go. Uh, I was a hedge knight, though now I am a landed knight. Some new lords wish to pay tribute to someone who is close to them in the record of their house. Do you have anyone you wish to honor as such? Uh, yes, a lad who is a close friend of mine. I became best friends with Elric Icemark. I like that, Icemark. Pretty cool. I'm sorry, I thought I heard someone mention my name. Says the man in question as he entered the room. I could not help but I could not help by smile at his timing. The maester was quick to introduce himself and state his purpose before turning back to me. Well, this should suffice for a summary, my lord. I wish I wish you the best going forward. Said the maester with a bow. Please stay as my maester. I want to see his stats. His learning is pretty high. Intrigue is terrible. Stewardship is terrible. Martial is terrible. Diplomacy is average. I don't know if I want him as my maester. Um. He came all this way, though, so please stay on as my maester. Very nice, lads. And now, of course, we've got all these <laughs> all these issues up here to have to to have to handle. We have eleven out of six holdings, uh, probably because we only have two vassals. So definitely something we gotta keep an eye out for. Uh, strengthen bloodline. Should I? Sure. Strengthen bloodline. The strength of House Marshall. For generations, our dynasty has been known for the strength of its blood. Vigor, beauty, and intellect are all attributes associated with the martial name. My own excellence only confirms this. All of our dynasty's best qualities in one perfect individual. My name and my gifts will live on through my descendants for centuries to come. We have a bright future ahead. You will gain the nickname the Bloodfather. Absolutely lethal. We are now er Lord Arid the Bloodfather of the, God of the Godlands. 
of house marshal i love that jesus christ we have a lot of uh <laughs> of titles we definitely need to start to divvy those out to our vassals and of course we do need to find ourselves a spouse so we can start making heirs but before that let us get our martial uh lifestyle focus and then i'm thinking chivalry for sure yeah plus three prowess attraction opinion plus 10 and then uh captain advantage or knight advantage plus five that's amazing and I gain martial experience 42 per month. Beautiful. Let's do it. I don't have a perk to start off with yet, so that's fine. Uh, you are not married. Oh, I know. I am above my domain limit. So let's start to uh, dish out some of our lands. I'm going to start to give some of the ones that aren't accruing any interest. Like more in lands. I kind of want to give off like some of these lands along the border. That way I can control most of the lands within, like, the center of our uh, our realm. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, Mirkwood Castle. Wow, like the elves of, uh, of Lord of the Rings. That's crazy. All right, Mirkwood Castle. We can grant to... Let's grant it to my best friend, Elric uh, Icemark. Just the one for now. Grant titles. There you go, my friend. Congratulations. Let's do it again. Which one is along the southern border? There's one here, Canmill. Let's give uh, Canmill hold to... I don't want to give it to some, like, rando, though. Let's give it to a, lo a local Kraken man. We'll let dem uh, democracy have its day. Oh, a woman. I see. Lady Daisy of Canmill. Wonderful. Welcome to uh, to nobility, my lady. I love donating our lands, honestly. I, I really have no uh, issue with that, if I'm being honest. Especially to, like, the locals. I feel like that's kind of the best bet for, a, a, you know, a humble knight who was uh, recently raised to lordship. So, uh, once again, let us... Uh, nice. Lord Carl of the Flint Cliffs. Beautiful. There you go. Old Cypress Castle. And we still need to get rid of, like, one more after this as well. Uh, a noble of the northern men culture, Cyprus, oh, 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 Lady Ashlyn of Cyprus Rising, got it. Interesting. We've got one more to get rid of. Why not another, I think, uh, Castle Beastern? Be Beastern? Yeah, Beastern. We can grant to a local Kraken man, Lord Hrothgar. I love that. Like, hi, Hrothgar. Hi, Hrothgar. Very nice. We only have uh, 1,700 men, which is not the best, if I'm being absolutely honest. I can declare nine wars. Hoster of the Riverlands, Walder of the Crossing. Wow. Uh, I don't know if I want to do all that right now anyway, so let us invite some captains. Absolutely. Send the Herald. Get me some knights in here. I can station my men-at-arms. Yeah, the Winter Wolves. Let's get these bad boys stationed. Uh, I think in our capital. It's currently called Flint's Finger, but I'm not going to keep that name, if I'm being honest. So, let us go here. Change the name of Flint's Finger. I'm going to change it to Seaguard. Very nice. Yeah. The Lordship of Flint's Finger. We can also change the region name to Seaguard. So now, within the Godlands, our capital, uh... County is called Seaguard, and our capital castle is called Seaguard as well. Very nice. Because we are guardians of the uh, the westernmost seas, the uh, what is it, Iron Man's Bay, or Cape Kraken. We are the guardians of C Cape Kraken and the Blazewater Bay. That's amazing. I love that. And Iron Man's Bay, obviously, because we're bordered on three sides, being part of a peninsula uh, by the water. So of course, uh, being guardians of the westernmost region of the north obviously we are uh guardians of the sea naturally got him some uh some armor now not bad he's a little more outfitted and we have a famed weapon a well-made sword i love that apparently i made it creator lord Arid of the guardlands i love that not bad so i'm definitely going to be on the hunt for more artifacts later on uh but first and foremost let us also see if we can't find a spouse so out of relevance jane rivers of House Frey, they do have vastly superior uh, 
military strength. At least for the time being. I kind of want to go for Layla Hightower, however. The issue is, that is a distance away. So if I were to make an alliance... Where are they? Yeah. The High Towers of Old Town. Yeah. If I wanted to make an alliance so that I can receive help whenever I'm, like, in at warfare or whatever, the High Towers probably aren't going to be the best bet. While they do have vast, uh, you know, military strength on the Wents of Hole, they might be a pretty decent match. Let's see their military strength. 4,000. So not vastly superior, but still superior to ours. Alisane Blackwood. She's a Rivalanda. And she has claims. Interesting. Lord Titos of Blackwood Vale. Interesting. Where is that at? Right here. I think that might be our best bet. I know their military strength isn't the best, but they do have uh, claims over uh, certain titles. And they're closer to us than, uh, than anybody else really is. So that might be our best bet. Because I, I would rather not marry a Frey woman. Hold on. Yeah, she's cynical, vengeful, and impatient. And she's a bastard, so no titles to be held there. Sarah Wentz is comely, so at least there's that. Ashara Dane. I can marry a Dane. Interesting. Or perhaps a, uh, a Wester woman. Yeah, from the Golden Tooth. That's interesting. What is their military strength similar to ours? So, probably not. Uh, again, I think Alisane Blackwood might be our best bet, if I'm being honest. She is a warrior, which is decent. She's a trained fighter. A conscientious scribe. Not bad. She is wrathful. Ambitious. But also deceitful. So, that's not exactly the best. But, I'm honestly down to take it. So, let's uh, let us send our proposal. And be on our way. Now we can officially press play on our playthrough. Uh, now that we've kind of dished out all our stuff. Oh, I lied. I need to set up my council. So my Castellan needs to have some of all skills, dude. Like Lady Daisy of Can Canmill. That's perfect. A sign. Wonderful. My Chancellor needs to have really high diplomacy. And he does. That's perfect. Lord Eld Edwald of Waterstone. I love that. Lord Jarrett. Will be replaced by Lord Elric as my steward. Wonderful. Uh, my marshal, <laughs> she only has eight marshal skill. That's terrible. Let's add uh, Lord Carl of the Flint Cliffs. Wonderful. He has 16 intrigue, 19 for Master Sherrit of New Stonehand. Absolutely. And then uh, my admiral also needs to have. That's perfect. Ah, oh, no. Less perfect. Let's get Lord Hrothgar in there as my admiral. That's fine. And then my seer. Wonderful. Lord Erold of Crooked God. A sign. Wonderful. Wonderful. And now we can press play. And we can await a word from our, our potential alliance. Wonderful. Alliance formed with the Lord Titos of Blackwood Vale. <coughs> to the handsome Erid. I will. I gladly accept your marriage proposal. You will be joined with my sister Alison in holy matrimony. May your union bring happiness and fulfillment. Signed, Lord Titos of Blackwood Vale. Very nice. Excellent. Thank you, my lord. Wonderful. My spouse, the Lady Alison. Perfect. Now, uh, while we've got some time, and we're increasing quite nicely in quite a few things, actually. Uh, not too concerned there. And my, uh, my vassals have gone up exponentially. We came from uh, 1,700 to 3,900. How did that happen? No fucking idea. But we're going to continue uh, the growth of our military strength. For sure, we already have some winter wolves. Let us get... Uh, I wanted some armored horsemen. But I'm thinking that perhaps some crossbowmen might do us better. You know, get us some, uh, some ranged units, as it were. 16, 10, 2, 4, 4. Yeah, that's fine. Let's do 10 here. Wonderful. Now, do I want to increase their uh, strength? Probably not. Not right off the bat, anyway. So, we'll leave it there for now. And then we will uh, press play. So, currently, the War of the Usurper is underway. Uh, we are occupying quite a few. Uh, a couple of holdings, at least. Not bad. 
we shall see what happens honestly because i i remember that uh i was playing or i was testing out a playthrough at one point and uh the and the rebels lost uh they actually lost the war against uh against the targaryens of the iron throne and it was quite interesting because a uh, robber in the entire line of the baratheons was just fucking wiped out and then of course we all were subjugated under the rule of uh you know the newly crowned king Rhaegar of the iron of the uh the iron throne and uh westeros <clears throat> but that is neither here nor there so let us continue on our journey I'm going to press play. We're going to add a couple of more uh, rallying points in case we uh, we get to a point where we are uh, going to war and we need to send all our men out. And of course, we cannot call ourselves the Sea Guard without having a uh, an opportunity to rally close to the sea should the, uh, the Ironborn come knocking. Ah, from Lord Paramount Eddard of the North. Greetings, my charming vassal. You have been a loyal and devoted subject, and I wish to reward you for your service. In recognition of this, I hereby I am hereby offering you the position of Steward of the North, signed Lord Paramount Eddard of the North. Of course I accept my lord, my liege lord. Look at that, almost 5,000 now, lads. That's what I'm fucking talking about. Certainly not bad. Certainly not a bad way to start off. And of course, I, I just gotta show y'all this shit, man. Like... Very nice. The Marshall Dynasty. Like, goddamn. That is one good-looking uh, sigil right there, lads. Certainly not bad. And then, of course, our uh, High Lordship of the Godlands. This is our... So, the idea was that for uh, our family crest uh, being the Marshall Dynasty, I like the, uh, the keys because it's like, you know, uh, we're very firm very locked into our idea of uh, loyalty and honor as uh, as knights and then of course we call ourselves the shields of the west and so uh having the the big ass shield as a as a, our sigil uh made a lot of sense and then i kind of switched it up uh to a, a little modified version of it uh for our uh our realm because we are the uh the guardlands, you know, of the West, the uh, the shields of the West, and uh, and the guardians against the the Ironborn raiders and such. So I, I changed the keys to a uh, an anchor symbol, and then I changed the the little castle at the top to quite a few castles as a, a signifier of our uh, realm over the uh, over just our singular family. Either way, I think it's pretty cool. Our young man, look at him, such a handsome little bean. I love him. Absolutely fantastic. The Lord Arid. Very nice. Alright. I can declare nine wars. Uh, most of them against, it looks like, wildlings of the north. I can declare war against uh, Lord Paramount Quellen, which is interesting. But I'm not sure if I want to do that. So, we might end up beginning our playthrough by fabricating some claims on uh, lands of the neck. While I have no uh, no hatred against uh, the people of the Neck, honestly. Let us go to Decisions. I've already consecrated my bloodline, which is fine. Can I commission an artifact? It'll cost me 100. I don't know if I want to do that now. Let's invite claimants, for sure. Sure, let us commission an artifact. Why the fuck not? I would like some armor. Hire a local artisan. Inspire inspiration funded. You will not regret supporting me, my lord. My beneficiary, Daisy, assures me that she will create a masterpiece, but also that my input is valued. Please tell me what type of armor do you desire? I want segmented armor, my lady. Something strong enough to save me from a, a strong sword stroke or the fall of an axe. And that was it. Never to be heard from again. <laughs> Anyway, that'll take some time, which is perfectly fine. Now, let me see if I cannot fabricate some claims on uh, on some neighboring lands. I don't believe I can do so on the, uh, the Iron Islands, as interesting as that would be. Pregnancy? Oh, wonderful. Fight? <clears throat> Pregnancy? Oh, wonderful. Fate smiles upon me. My wife, Lady Alisane, is bearing my child. That's crazy. We're 
Yeah, she's literally 17 and I'm 16. That's crazy. I still can't get over that whole title. Look at that. Lord Arid, the blood father of the godlands. <laughs> I cannot wait to hold the babe in my arms. I love that. It's wonderful. Anyway, while I do not hold any uh, hatred or ill will against the people of the Neck, I believe that the safest hands are our own. So I will be moving in to uh, fabricate claims on some of the lands uh, yeah, to our east. Ah, uh, the boars of Ristali. My master of the hunt, Vali, brings word of beasts spotted in my realm. I am hearing much talk from the lordship of Ristali. It is said that there are excellent prospects for hunting thereabouts, with many a worthy boar seen roaming the woodlands. Very nice. Very interesting, my friend. Wonderful. Um, while we are not quite ready to declare war on anybody, let us... Ah, oh, damn. Can't exactly afford a hunt now either, can we? That's a damn shame. Ah, inspiration, fellow connoisseur. My vassal, Lord Edward, accosts me. Well met, liege. Well met, liege. I've heard tell of your patronage of Daisy the armorer. They say she is making segmented armor worthy of a lord. Please, take this and give it to her. I wouldn't want to miss the chance to aid in the creation of a masterpiece. Poor Edward must have much more money than he knows what to do with. Uh, how generous, of course. Thank you. Anything to go towards the, uh, the creation of, uh, proper lordly armor would be, uh, much appreciated. Oh, my daughter and heir. Praise Garth Greenhand. Alisane has given birth to a perfect little daughter. One day, child, you will carry on my legacy. What name would befit such a mighty lady? Uh, Tiala Marshall. I kind of like that. We'll keep that. We'll keep Tiala Marshall. I don't know why it gave me, like, 57 different armies. Like, for what? Oh, my God. All right. Get some moving, lads. Very nice. You will probably win. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Keep, keep sending in the reinforcements, lads. Yeah, there we go. Very nice. Oh, no. My Captain Lord Rob. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Inspiration realized. My lord, my beneficiary. <clears throat> my lord, my beneficiary. Fuck. My lord, my beneficiary, Daisy, waves me over for a covered... Waves me over to a covered armor stand. She is trying hard to keep a professional demeanor, but I can see the fire in her eyes as she tells me her work is done. With a flourish, she rips the fabric covering... She rips the fabric... <laughs> With a flourish, she rips the fabric covering away and my eyes grow wide. The canvas of the armor is finely lined in the canvas of the armor is finely lined internally with oblong steel plates and covered with a layer of cotton. The set includes a kettle hat with a wide brim. The bronze rivets attaching the plates to the fabric have been embossed with a decorative pattern. Magnificent. Let me uh put on my new armor. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Flexible segmented armor. It's not all that great, is it? No, that's actually terrible. What the fuck is this? Oh my god. That's awful. It's just basic ass armor. Like, just plain chainmail. Like, that's it's terrible. Not worth 100 gold, in my opinion, but whatever. No, our Captain Lord Walton was slain. Ah, oh, no. The province of Pit Keep now falls to me. Apparently there are more raiders in my lands. Unless they're just talking about these guys. Yeah, we killed Lord Theomor. Very interesting. My glory is widely known. Perfect. Alright, we gotta we gotta grant this land to somebody, the Pit Keep. Yeah, we can grant this to uh What the fuck? Yeah, we can grant Pit Keep to somebody. Grant to a nobleman, which is fine. Lord Elbart of Pitkeep, very nice. House Pitkeep. Not very original, but alright. I'll take it. Yeah, get out of my lands, you rat bastards. Alright, 
All right, I'm only being raided for a couple of more months, but still. Like, just the fact that they had the audacity to uh, jump into my lands. This is why we are the Godlands. We are the first line of defense against the uh, the onslaught of the the Reavers and Raiders of the Iron Islands. And every time they come at us, we will always push them off. Be gone. Never again sully my, uh, my lands with your filth. Next time you are caught on my lands, I will murder and execute and hang every Ironborn uh, raider that I find on my lands. Anywho, disband all, all of you. Get lost, lads. Go back to where you belong. Go home. Oh, yeah, we are losing this war against the Targaryens. Honestly, as long as Lord Eddard survives, I don't care. I have no love nor loyalty to, uh, to, uh, Robert Baratheon. I have no love nor loyalty to Hosta Tully, nor to, uh, John Arryn. Only to my liege lord, Eddard Stark. Oh my, he's not looking too hot. Like, he, he's pale. Is he always that pale? No, he's ill. Ah. Oh. oh, no, he's ill. That's terrible. Fuck, dude, that's tough. That would be a very bad way for us to uh, to start off this campaign, if I'm being honest. Our liege lord dies right off the bat. That would suck. Anywho, lads. Yeah, let me catch your ironborn asses out here again, I swear to god. Yeah, there, there's the rest of the ironborn. That's crazy. Quellen sends his men to go and raid, uh, you know, Walder Frey. That's interesting. They are on the move. I don't know where they're going, but they're moving. That's nutsos. As long as they stay away from me, that's fine. Rest for the weary. Sweaty, tired, and in need of food, a long day of training with the troops is coming to an end. As we search for a place to camp, we spot an old abandoned castle in the distance. Maintaining eye contact, I declare, that is where we will make our camp tonight. <clears throat> As we search for a place to camp, we spot an old and abandoned castle in the distance. Maintaining eye contact, I declare, that is where we will make our camp tonight. The sun is setting and with every step towards the ruin, it looks more ominous. Before long, the soldiers are whispering about ghosts. Um. I can get heightened soldier morale. Plus two captain advantage. Interesting. Uh, let us raise the tents outside then. While I may not be superstitious, I do very much believe firmly in uh, the old gods. And the uh, the magic of the old gods is quite a mystery to the people of the north uh, for centuries, for absolute centuries, lifetimes even. And uh, I would very much not like to tempt fate anytime soon. So, very nice. But the godlands stand firm, always. And in nine days, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one... Boom. And the raiding is done. We have successfully defended our lands from the Ironborn Raiders. A little anticlimactic because it was just the one army, but that's fine. Honestly, I'm not too terrible. Or not too terribly upset about it. Either way, though. I am known for my dedication to my faith. I love that. I still can declare nine wars against uh, the Riverlands, Lord Hosta Tully. That's interesting because I have... Uh, well, 2,000 less than them, so I don't know if I want to push that. Uh, Lord Walder, he's got 5,088. Paramount John. Yeah, we're not doing too hot because all of uh, all of our allies and friends on the rebel side, they have uh, very, very small numbers of, uh, of military troops. Let's actually take a look here. Yeah, 56,000 to 76,000. My god. And this might be one of those playthroughs where the Targaryens win once again. That would be very interesting to see uh, Lord Eddard Stark and the North uh, subjugated to the rule of the uh, <laughs> of the Targaryens. Very interesting, like... Uh... Oh no. Ice fishing. During a walk through my domain, I come upon some frozen ponds. When the temperature is warmer, the, these are usually a great spot to go fishing. But it seems that even the colder climate has not deterred some small folk from trying their luck with ice fishing. It looks like they've punctured some holes to reach the water beneath the thick ice. 
I walk closer and take a look at their catches and equipment. They quickly notice me and immediately strike up a conversation about how well stocked the ponds are and how good the fishing is. One man even tells me he, he is here with his young son, who has never been fishing before. Very nice. Uh, can I join you folks? You gain rubbing elbow elbows with the small folk for two months. I'll take it. Very nice. And our first, uh, yeah, our first perk. So I know we're kind of going for the chivalry focus, but I think getting a, uh, a lower Cassus belly cost will, uh, will suit us better in the long run, especially when we start going after, uh, claims and titles. Call to war. Lord Titos of Blackwood Vale. Interesting. To the sensible Arid, I call on you to honor our alliance and join me in the Liberty War. Sign, Lord Titos of Blackwood Vale. Very nice. He is my brother-in-law, after all. And Lord Hosta Tully's Admiral. Interesting. Against uh, Lord Gendry of Mudgrave and uh, Lord Meribald of Flockshade. Uh, of course, I will uh, join the Liberty War as a defender. I guess uh, somebody went after his ass or something. What is What is happening? So these guys are going after this guy. Damn, they have a they have a lot of lands between the between them. I'm their only ally. It's close, it's close numbers, but uh very nice. All right, let's get our numbers up real quick. Boom. And then we can march off to war to the aid of our allies. Oh, I don't think we're going to make it in time. Oh no, look at that. We're going to go the route of the uh of the oceans, much like the uh the sea god. Let's go. Come on. We must aid our allies. Oh my god, there's so many of them. Come on, get there quickly. We have to come to their aid. No, they're so outnumbered. Ah, they lost, but here we come, lads. Come on. Ah, it's not looking so hot in our favor. Ah, oh, come on. We killed we killed somebody. We wounded another. Very nice. Yeah, there we go, lads. Very nice indeed. We're able to cut them down in quick succession. Very nice. Not bad, lads. Whew. Not a bad start to the war. Not a bad start for sure. Alright. I'm gonna I'm gonna pursue just a tad bit. Just so I can hold them off, you know, for for a small time. Yeah, because they're gonna start retreating. They're gonna turn back now though. The Wildlings in the Tower, a wildling raiding party that my men and I have been tracking has taken up refuge in an abandoned watchtower. The tower itself is barely standing, the walls held together more so by the ages of vines climbing the stone than the original mortar. Still, the Wildlings managed to fortify the entrances and place a few archers on the upper levels. I was confident we could take it, but not without spilling some of our own blood. Ooh... Fuck it. For the north, lads. Oh, no. What the fuck? We wait until the sun creates a disadvantage for their archers. Then we, cr then we charge the tower. My men use their shields to block arrows as the makeshift barricade is dismantled. The wildlings meet us on the other side, ready for a fight. The tight corridors make for brutal fighting, and the tower's remaining stone floors soon become slick with blood. You draw steel and fight. Prowess challenge against Goal Eater Latag. 99% he dies, and I gain 350 uh, prestige. Very nice. For the north! Very nice. We cut him down, lads. The battle was won. Alright, they're going to come after my ass, which means I need, to, uh, I need to meet back up with this guy and combine our strength. Lord Gendry formed a new alliance. Lord Benedict might join the Liberty War as an enemy. Oh, no. That is terrible. That is truly, truly terrible. All right. Hold on. We might need to... Uh... Damn it. Yeah, we're kind of... We might be fucked here. I might have just fucked myself jumping into this, this conflict.
Yeah, they've got 5,000 men. I don't think they're, they're going to charge right at us. At least not yet. They're going to wait until their numbers jump back up as well. Lord Meribald. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. They're really trying it, aren't they? Oh, my. A dragon in the north. Wayne arrives at my court in a panic. The young lad starts ranting about a slumbering dragon within my domain, an accusation which sends the throne room up in laughter. The young lad is not amused. He begs you to act, claiming we are all doomed if the beast should wake. Let me tell you about Dragon's Lad, an opportunity to educate the lad and show off your knowledge of the histories. Or the lad's fear is real, perhaps there is more to this tale. Tell me more about this dragon. At the hot spring, Wayne continued with his tale. Seems the young lad was gathering wood when he came across a stream that was bubbling up hot water. The lad assumed that only a dragon sleeping underground could cause the water to come out so hot. I, re I reassured the young man, everything is fine. There is no dragon, but, be but to be safe, I will visit the stream. The next day, I travel to the hot spring and enjoy a relaxing dip in the warm water. Ah, yes, no dragons here. <laughs> Very nice. Very nice. So they are besieging some of uh, my lord's, or my friend's lands. But we are also besieging some of their lands. And my lady Alisane is once again pregnant. I love that. Another, uh, another child to strengthen my bloodline. Nice. It's going to take them two years. And it's going to take us 20 days. I love that. Certainly not bad, lads. Let us finish this conflict swiftly so that we can return home and I can enjoy the loving, warm embrace of my wife and daughter. Alright, where are you heading now, my friends? Alright, so this castle is, uh, oh, it's going to take me three years to do this. That's terrible. Alright, so here's what I'm thinking. Uh, I might just have to follow my, my dear friend around and, uh, and offer him some aid, if I'm being honest. So let's increase some sizes here while we've got some gold. I've got 132 left, and we're still increasing our monthly income, which is fucking perfect. So we've got crossbowmen, we've got winter wolves. I'm not going to be able to afford armored horsemen. I don't know if I want light footmen, though. That's the thing. Because I would certainly like some armored horsemen, so we might just have to wait it out. Honestly. Which is fine and dandy. But yeah, this is going to take me three years to do. Oh, boy. Yeah, I might just have to follow him around, honestly. And uh, and help him. Because we can besiege these uh, these cities and castles faster if we do it together. So, we might as well. Oh, what's in a name? With the babe cradled in her arms, Lady Alisane looks up at me, her face surprisingly serene. My love, let us name him Erid, after you. I guess I have a son. That's lovely. I ha A lovely idea. Erid it is. Erid, son of Erid. Wonderful. A wonderful name. I can still declare nine wars. Most of them on the, uh, yeah. Lord Stevron of the Crossing. Interesting. I, I assume that means that, uh, Walder Frey died? Yeah, Lord Stevron. Died of old age. That's a damn shame. Apparently I could go to war with his ass, but I don't really want to right now, so things are fine. Nice. It's only going to take him 13 months. And then when I get there, 11 months. Lovely. Oh my. That's not good. They only have 4,000 troops left. Oh, well, so do we. That's a damn shame. Commander Arnulf has gained an indebted hook on you? Why am I indebted to... What? What does that mean? Why? Evil antagonist. He had to have, like, faked that shit, without a doubt. Because I have never, I have never, not once, even, uh, you know, interacted with that man. Like, what the fuck? Interesting. The Karstarks, I believe, right? That's who that was? Yeah. Arnulf of Moat Kaelin, the Karstarks. Interesting. He is, uh, an evil antagonist, so it does not surprise me in the slightest that he would do some underhanded bullshit like that. I might have to take my men and go and take on this fight, if I'm being honest. Let's see it. Oh, I could win. Potential battle in 22 days. Yeah, let's get there, lads. Don't run from me, cowards. 
Yeah, cut their asses. Come on. Oh, no. Oh, I got disfigured. What the fuck? Oh, I have an eye patch now. Lady Alisane had been murdered. I gained the trait one-eyed. Wife, as you drew your last breath, breath relief washed over me. Perhaps I should be ashamed, but in truth, there was no love lost between us. Finally, I am free to start my life anew. What? That sucks. Son of Lord Gendry. Ah, oh, you bastard. I guess my wife died in battle. No, my captain was slain by Tommen. Damn it. And now I have a moderate health penalty. Because of the, uh, the botched, uh, you know, treatment on my wound. Very nice. Battlefield Knighthood. After the battle in Thick Bill, one of the attendants pres presents me a list of soldiers who performed exceedingly well. Lord Hrothgar of Bistrin's name stands out to me in particular. My attendant recommends that I knight them in a hasty battlefield ceremony. According to him, knighting these soldiers as I stand among the carnage and ruin of the battle will inspire morale among our ranks. Of course, be knighted, my friend. God damn, my wife though, dude, that sucks. Absolutely sucks. Ah, oh, I could ransom Lord Baron of Pebble Keep. Yeah, fine. That's fine. Damn, that sucks, dude. Absolutely sucks. And now my alliance is kind of over with this guy, but I'm still, uh, still fighting in a war with him. I'm kind of already in the war with him, so there's no point in, like, trying to stop, you know? Damn it, dude. That sucks. I didn't realize she was in the army with me, and now I've lost a fucking eye. Oh, no, that's so sad. Everything is just terrible. This is such a cursed playthrough. Like, how did this happen? Yeah, that's what I thought, cowards. Be gone. Be gone from these lands. I, I declare, I bequeath thee. Not enough soldiers. The siege of Duffy. It says not enough soldiers, but... Odd. Four months left. Come on, let's finish this battle, eh? Let's finish this war. Yeah, that's what I thought, cowards. Don't you run away from me. Get there. Get there, Arid. Yeah, caught their asses on the retreat. This is for my wife! Ah, oh, Battlefield Knighthood. In Gravesham, Lord Jarrett of Forret. Forent, sorry. Yes, of course, be knighted, my friend. Bonk. Very nice. Enemy combatants captured. Beautiful. Hey, look at that. We're kind of evening things out against uh, the Targaryens. That's interesting. Not bad. I can ransom Lord Orin. Ah, of Old Forge. No, I'll get a hook. I can declare one war against the Vale. That's interesting. Ah, that sucks. That absolutely sucks about my wife. Our Lord Hugh might join the Liberty War. Interesting. 25 days. Beautiful. Uh, let us get uh, increased prowess. We look kind of badass with the uh, with the eye patch on, though. I'm not even gonna lie. That's pretty cool. I didn't even realize that we uh, we aged up as well because we're we started as a 16 year old. Now we're 20. It's already been four years into our campaign, and I've lost an eye. Jesus, quite sad. Five, four. Damn it. Of course, there's a scheme at court. My spy master has come to me with grave news. While we do not yet know who, someone is plotting to kill my courtier, Donal. My maester, why? What the hell's wrong with you people? Jesus, I can't have shit. Can't have shit around here. We won the war led by Lord Titos of Blackwood Vale against Lord Gendry of Mudgrave. Nice, we took him captive. Very nice. So be it. Very nice. Let me send my fucking men home now. Jesus. Can I, uh, can I request another, you know, alliance with this guy? Raven Tree. Interesting. Lordship of Raven Tree. Very cool. Damn. So my daughter is my new player, Anne. That's interesting. And I don't have a spouse, and I have one eye. <laughs> it's fucking terrible, dude. Alright, time to find ourselves another spouse. Uh, Illyrians. 
faith of the seven there. Dornish, interesting. The house, house forester. Interesting. She is a snow. I'm pretty sure that means, yeah, she's a bastard. So she's not going to inherit any claims. Yeah, and their military strength kind of sucks. So, perhaps not. House, oh, Stonehouse, an Ironborn. Imagine I marry an Ironborn woman. That would be quite interesting. All right, let's see. Instead of relevance, let's go for alliance power. Oh, I can marry a Stark. I can marry into the Starks. I can marry into the Greyjoys as well. Imagine that. That would be very interesting. Ironborn, Northman. He will accept. Lord Eddard would accept that. My betrothed. Interesting. Very interesting. Ah, damn. I kind of feel weird doing that as a 20-year-old man. And she's literally a 1-year-old child. But... Fuck it. Send proposal. Let's see, what they, let's see what they have to say. Very nice. Greetings, my charming vassal. I gladly accept your betrothal proposition. You will be betrothed to my daughter, Jelaine. Jillian, Jillian. Sign, Lord Paramount Eddard of the North. Excellent, excellent. Thank you, my lord. Yeah, 43,000, 53,000. My god. Oh, I see. Quellen Greyjoy joined the uh, the rebels in the War of the Usurper. Oh, damn. Very interesting indeed. So it's the Vale, the North, the Iron Islands, the Stormlands, and the Riverlands, all against the Iron Throne. Not bad. The Westerlands are staying out of it, and of course, uh, all the lands north of the war. Uh, Walder Frey, or, uh, uh, you know, the crossings, I guess, the new Frey Lords, and of course, uh, the Wents of Harrenhal are also staying out of the conflict. Very interesting indeed. A scheme at court. Oh, God. My spy master has come to me with a discovery. He is certain that my guest, Garion, is scheming against my courtier, Donal. Interesting. Yeah, throw his ass in jail. Speaking of jail, we do have uh, several prisoners. Garion, uh, I'm going to negotiate his release. We're going to send his ass to the uh, to the wall. Interesting. Marcella, we're going to negotiate her. She is a she is low born, so honestly, we could just uh, let's just get rid of her. I don't fucking care. And then Darren, also lowborn. Let's just get rid of him as well. No need for the theatrics, but Garion, send your ass to the wall. Sweet smiles and little lies. Just like other children her age, my daughter and heir, Tiala, sometimes lies and tests boundaries. However, she often avoids suspicion with her sweet demeanor, and people always forgive her when she does not when she does get caught. I wonder just how much she gets away with. Dot, dot, dot. I will keep an eye on this one. Of course I shall. Daughters, you know? War was easier than daughters. Yeah, to the charming Erid. I have no choice but to accept your conditions for my release. Yeah. Yeah, get lost, Garion. Trying to, to murder my maester. I think the fuck not. I love this guy, though. Nice. My wound has healed, finally. Oh no, a faction created against Lord Eddard Stark. A liberty faction wants lower crown authority. Being led by Lord Oswin of House Stain. Born of Stone. Interesting. I wonder if I can't expose them for their treachery. Guess not. I can conspire to murder them. <laughs> That's interesting. Nice, we have 400... Uh, gold. So let us gain some armored horsemen. Create a regiment and let us station them. Uh, 25, 9.5. That's... Oh, this one was already taken. So let's do this one. Blaze Mark. The, uh, the armored knights, the, uh, armored horsemen of Blaze Mark. Very nice. And then, of course, our Winter Wolves of Seaguard and the, uh, the Crossbowmen of Ansgard. Very interesting. I can't believe all this bullshit is happening right off the bat. Inheritance! Ah, oh, no. 
All right, hold on. The memories remain. Oh, Elrich, no! Now my best friend died! If you were still with me, I know you would tell me to be strong, that things will get better, and you would be right, as you always were, but first I must curse and cry. How could I not when you are gone from this world? You will never be forgotten, old friend. God damn it. Of course. Ugh. Of Mirkwood Castle. Now we've got to grant this to somebody else. Let's grant it to my son. My two-year-old son, Erid. That's interesting. Now I have an empty uh, steward position. So, let us get a new steward. Mistress Alibeth of Napes. Interesting. She is my vassal and has a 23 stewardship skill. That's fucking amazing. Oi. It's so sad. I can negotiate an alliance with my son, Lord Erid. Who's a two-year-old. Lord Erid of Mirkwood. That's interesting. Very nice. He's like, of course, Dad. Thanks. Thanks, bucko. Strategy allowed. I'm sitting in on a strategy meeting with Lord Paramount Eddard and Lord Andrew, discussing our plans for the ongoing war. Lord Paramount Eddard has decided to take a hands-off approach, allowing both Andrew and I to act as we see fit. I am glad we will have free reign to do as I wish. That's fucking beautiful. I love that. Does that change anything for us about, like, declaring wars or anything? Nope. Mostly just, uh, Wildlings still. Yeah. Lord Hoster. I could go to war with the Riverlands, or with the, uh, the Crossing, which would be interesting, but I'm not entirely sure why I would want to, if I'm being honest. 